It is 113 days in the fight against COVID-19 in Nigeria. Medical experts have reacted to the recent spike in the number of cases, saying the country is still far from flattening the curve. Level of adherence to safety measures is daily dropping, as many no longer use face masks or practice physical distancing. And the ban on interstate travel is constantly being flouted as persons travel from place to place with ease causing a spike in figures with the highest spike since the outbreak recorded today. Joining me now via Skype from Abuja is Dr. Obina Ibirim, a public health physician and health promotion specialist. Uh, Dr. Ibirim, it's good to have you join me now. Uh, we just got the highest figure since the outbreak or since Nigeria recorded its uh, first case in February. We just got the highest figure uh, uh, between yesterday in the last 24 hours. Okay. Enough information will, will, would have gone out from what everyone is saying. There are still some persons who have not really gotten enough information. But what are we doing right and what are we not doing right? Can we start from there? Okay, yeah, good morning. Um, I think what we are doing right now is that we are testing our people in a good number. This, I think we have hit a... 100,000. The last time I checked, it was 98,000. Um, so I think we are doing that right. Um, I think the government at all levels have uh, set up uh, structures to uh, manage this outbreak that has turned to a pandemic. So we are getting that right. Um, the awareness of this disease and its um, effects, I wouldn't say it's 100%, especially in our local communities. Um, some, some people in our local communities do not even know what coronavirus is. They think it's a joke. They, they do not know the, uh, the importance of the precautionary measures that have been set in place. So I think that what we need to do more is to um, increase the awareness, especially in our rural communities. And also, we need to then ensure that the structures that have been put in place to ensure compliance are working. Uh, we have had in the past where government has set up structures to ensure compliance and these uh, structures do not do what they are sent to do or do not do it strictly. So I think that is another thing we need to do right to ensure that if there are structures that have been put in place to ensure compliance, that in terms of maybe raising awareness, um, um, policing those who are not doing what they are supposed to do, those people need to then uh, step up and live up to their responsibilities. All right. Now, in the case where uh, a medical advisory is being given as to how people should uh, conduct themselves and, and we see a, an outright flouting of some of these uh, instructions, would you, would you advise that we still leave that um, compliance on the persuasive ground where it's just to appeal to the people or there should be some level of strict uh, 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 measures to be put in place for people to adhere to these compliances? So when you talk about health behavioral change, um, the evidence that using a lot of force would not really um, help people because people might comply when you apply force, but when you withdraw force, um, people will then go back. But there is some element of uh, strictness that needs to be done. But I think more importantly, it's keep raising the awareness in a manner that people would comprehend, in a manner that it resonates well to the people. Because you might be talking to someone and the person has not really appreciated the importance. So we need to find a way. How do we communicate to people in a way that they can understand, in a way that resonates to, with them? Then also, yes, people would always try to flout laws. So there must be a way to police it. But policing it shouldn't be the only way. The other important thing is role, role modeling. So, for example, our leaders need to role model. So if they say, do not do this, they should not be seen doing this. Because by the time they do it, people that are being led will then follow through. So, so I think it's important that also embed the right role, um, role modeling so that when people as leaders, what we do, those the followers will then copy us. So these are the ways we need. We need to bring the mix of all this. It's not just about policing. It's also about policing, communicating right, and also role modeling right. All right, uh, Dr. Obi Naibirim, public health physician and health promotion specialist. Thank you very much for talking to us.